Angelica. I'm Melissa. Mabuhai, and welcome, and welcome to, to the, the Barrios. Barrios. Meaning the neighborhoods in Tagalog, the Barrios transports you to a land that celebrates the many diverse cultures and untold folk tales of the Philippines. Throughout your visit, you'll get to go on a journey up our feature attraction, Mount Makili, have a taste of some modern Philippine cuisine at Kasama, take some memories home at our retail store, Tindahan, meet a magical Philippine enchantress, make some new discoveries down a mystic river, take part in a playful parade with gods and goddesses, and end the day with our heartwarming nighttime spectacular, Among Historia. As you enter the barrios, you are greeted with our feature attraction, the awe-inspiring Mount Makiling. Enter a world immersed with Philippine beauty and magic as you hop on a traditional carabao cart. Pulled by your very own personal carabao, the national animal of the Philippines. Along your trek up the mountain, meet the enchantress of Makiling, Mariang, as she takes you through the beautiful land she calls home. You will see various foliage and animals native to Mount Makiling. As you continue on, you will meet the villager Jose, helping an old man carry his collected fruit. The cart then takes you to Jose's home, where you see his father is sick. Marianne gives Jose her magical pearl necklace to help heal his father, but when the other villagers witness this act of magical healing, they take to the mountain to steal the magic for themselves. With the weather swayed by Marianne's rage, you are taken through a stormy and treacherous scene through the mountains. You make it through the storm alive and see Jose calming Marianne down, helping her enlighten the villagers on using her magic for good. With Mount Makiling restored, Marianne's love causes all the trees and flowers to bloom. Your adventure culminates along a long, luminous trail through the forest, with trees all around you bearing golden fruit. Marianne and Jose, and everyone in the village, wave goodbye to you as your journey through Mount Makiling ends. Hungry after your climb up Mount Makiling? Grab a bite to eat at Kasama. Kasama translates to together in English. Sharing a meal with your loved ones is very important in Filipino culture, and we wanted to emphasize that at our restaurant. At Kasama, we encourage a sense of community and togetherness while eating. This is accomplished through our communal dining areas, in which guests sit alongside each other at large family-style tables. Turn your meal into a memorable moment with your friends, family, and fellow park goers. To maximize time and still keep an enhanced experience, our restaurant format will resemble that of Broomsticks at Universal Studios, where you order at the cash register, pay ahead, and then are given a number to be put at a table. Our food at Kasama takes traditional Filipino staples and transforms them into delicious theme park friendly meals. Try out our American twist on a Filipino classic, adobo wings with sisig fries, or take some of everyone's favorite lumpia egg rolls to go to scarf down later in the park. Our drink menu includes a selection of refreshing Filipino drinks such as buko juice, young coconut water served straight from the source, and a durian smoothie for the more daring eaters. It also includes our cult menu item, Mariang's Golden Smoothie, a blend of golden fruit from the trees of Mount Makiling served in a souvenir cup. If you couldn't get enough of the ube selections at Kasama, stop by our quick service dessert stand, the Ube Shack. The Ube Shack makes this tasty and vibrant purple yam the star of the show in a variety of desserts that everyone already loves. If you love the tale of Mount Makiling, you can take a piece of it home. Our retail store, Tindahan, carries Mount Makiling souvenirs fit for all ages. Kids can cuddle up with our adorable stuffed carabao. The carabaos come in four different colors and personalities that match the animatronic carabaos on the Mount Makiling ride, so you can pick out the specific one that took you on your journey. For a special touch, you can also get your carabao personally customized. Give your new friend a name and pick out your favorite name tag shape and color. For the parents out there, we designed an intricately beautiful scarf that subtly tells Marianne McKeeling's story. Its versatility allows you to wear the scarf in many fashionable ways or hang it up as an art piece decoration in your home. Millennials and Gen Zers can add to their pin collection with our four pack of Matt McKeeling pins. The set features Marianne's magical pearl necklace, Joe the Carabao, Marianne McKeeling, and a commemorative I Climbed Mount McKeeling pin. These pins can be worn on denim jackets fanny packs, or trendy backpacks, so don't forget to snap a picture of yourself at the barrios wearing them in your own style. We also did research on toy, scarf, and pin vendors to see the production time and approximate cost of manufacturing. If the feature attraction wasn't enough, you can get up close and personal with the goddess Marianne Makiling and Jose. 
In the northeast corner of the barrios, Marion and Jose have a special spot behind the mountains where they can have a peaceful moment with their friends. Our meet and greet will take you to their scenic grotto for an intimate photo op. The magic isn't exclusive to that area. We used Arduinos with Bluetooth low energy sewn into each character's costumes to trigger different effects in the land's terrain. As McGeeling is walking through the land to her photo spot, the trees around her will bloom golden fruit and mist will come from the trees. Jose's costume will only trigger the golden fruit. Throughout the day, you'll be surprised by various cultural dancers. We'll feature three dances, Tinikling, Bandango, and Maglalatik. Each costume comes with their own surprise environmental effects. The Mystic River takes you on another exciting adventure through the jungles of the Philippines. Catch a glimpse of scenic views and Philippine wildlife, and keep an eye out for something even more mystic. If you're lucky, your skipper will guide you to enchanted locations along the river, where you'll get to see Filipino mythological creatures before your very eyes. This ride is a reskin of Disneyland's Jungle Cruise. Keeping the same ride concept as Jungle Cruise, the Mystic River will remain a simulation of a riverboat cruise. Therefore, keeping the same ride track and ride vehicle, but the story told will change. This change will be brought on through four major transformations. Aesthetic changes to the queue line building, a refresh of the ride vehicles, redesigning scenes and facades, and updating and adding new animatronic figures. Filipino architectural elements will be incorporated to the queue line building. Materials such as bamboo wood, mother of pearl, and woven cane will decorate the exterior of the building. The interior props will be switched out as well for Philippine art and items. The ride vehicle will get a fresh cone of paint to resemble a colorful Filipino fishing boat. To add to the atmosphere of the fishing boat, the roof will be modified and cosmetic bamboo sticks will line the sides of the boat. The new facades and animatronic figures truly bring the spirit of the Mystic River to life. The shells of many of the original Jungle Cruise animatronics will be swapped out for indigenous Philippine animals or creatures of the same stature. Other animatronic figures will either be removed or fully replaced. In place of the dangerous piranhas, spot the mischievous water pixies that enjoy messing with the tourists and beware of the Filipino cyclops, the bongisnis, in place of the gorilla. We listed out each individual component of the original Jungle Cruise on an Excel sheet and what we plan to transform them into. We priced every animatronic figure, ride vehicle, prop, decoration, fog machine, fabrication piece, and more, leaving nothing unaccounted for. After crunching the numbers, the Mystic River cost $29.9 million, roughly $20 million under the $50 million budget. Our figures came from various contractor sources on the internet as well as previous internship experience involving reskinning costs at theme parks. In the middle of your day, take a breather and sit back and enjoy our parade. The parade float we developed is about siblings, Apalaki, God of the Sun, and his sister, Mayari, Goddess of the Moon. Based on the Filipino creation myth, you can see these two playfully battle each other for ownership of the sky, and you get to be a part of the story. The back of the park map will feature the URL to a website where you can vote for your favorite sibling. As one gets more votes than the other, the parade float will light up more in their color scheme and illuminate more of the clouds. As the float continues, it will restart every five minutes so every visitor can see the battling ensue. On the float, we will have an Apalaki and Mayari, both of which we've created costumes for. Their costumes are inspired by the Ufago tribe of the Northern Philippines. Apalaki wears a loincloth garment called the Bahag and a see-through mesh shirt with tribal tattoo details. His tattoo and his necklace reflect his title as the God of the Sun. Mayari's costume is also inspired by the Bahag and traditional Ifago textiles. She wears a crescent moon armband and Filipino wooden sandals called Bakya. The end of your day comes around full circle back at the west end of Mount Makiling for a nighttime spectacular show, Among Historia. The show will feature all the characters and stories you've seen throughout the land and more. You'll witness the siblings Apolaki and Mayari battling it out, the cultural dances, the story of Mount Makiling, and beautiful overhead views of the Philippines. The show will end with a powerful homage to our culture, a montage of notable Filipino heroes and icons throughout history and our modern day, topping off with a fireworks show of the colors of our flag, red, blue, white, and yellow. Among Historia translates to our story, and we want you to be a part of it. We combine merchandise and guest interaction to our nighttime spectacular. Our merchandise includes four separate headbands inspired by Apalaki and Mayari. 
The two designs come in two different styles, a classic metal version and a Luwanag version. Luwanag translates to light in Tagalog. The Luwanag headbands light up the night during Among Historia, glowing in sync with the show. These headbands synchronize with the show using infrared technology. IR receivers in the headband pick up signals from the mountains based on your location in the audience, and those signals light up your headband in the right color at the right time. Have your own part in our nighttime spectacular. From the rides, to the food, to the shows and characters, this is our story. And we want to share it with you. Maraming salamat. Thank you. And we hope to see you at the, the Barrios. Barrios.